<laughs> the slippery slope is real, as John Doyle would say. Lewis, what do you say to the argument, and I bring this back to the Black Lives Matter thing, agreeing with us, us in quotations, um, where it's just like, well, some protests are good. I mean, we saw it in Australia where they were having those climate protests. I'm sure it happens in the UK. And, of course, the BLM marches, and that's all okay. That's all okay during lockdowns. But once you start, you know, standing up for your rights, it, it, it's bad news and it's a super spreader event. What do you make for that argument? I'm sure you've come across people. You've been doing uh, videos at protests where people say, well, this protest is wrong. I don't know if you, I think I saw you ask somebody about comparing the protests. Have you, or am I wrong? Um, I believe so. Uh, <laughs> it's a very <laughs> strange one, isn't it? How um, Black Lives Matter can, uh, can, organize protests consistently i mean they've done it throughout 2020 and um well the billions of dollars in damages uh is well that's the evidence for it right but uh yeah it, it's funny isn't it how you know certain organizations even extinction rebellion here in the uk the uh, the smelliest hippies of all <laughs> can um can go around and uh do what they do. I don't know quite what they do, To if I'm totally honest. I saw one just getting their tits out, and that's about it. That's literally <laughs> it. One of the uh, – it's just ridiculous. But it's strange how all these um, organizations insulate Britain as well. I don't know if you've been uh, seeing that from the UK where – No, I've never um, heard of that. Uh, they sit in the middle of the motorway uh, mm. as cars are coming and uh, to protest that each home should um, have insulation. Uh, to combat combat climate change when the organizer doesn't even have his home insulated so it's classic stuff um wait a minute so what they want insulation like installed by the government yeah uh, which what? they're investing in already so i don't know why <laughs> i don't know what their point is uh, anymore that's the but, weirdest um, that's like saying like we must like i don't know we must install new windows in every home or else we're blocking the freeway that's hilarious this is this is climate activists though, mate. So you, they're very unhinged. They're very uh, you can't reason with these people, unfortunately. <laughs> but um, yeah, it is strange. And speaking to protesters at the ones I've been covering, um, there have been thousands and thousands of people, just concerned parents, working class uh, individuals that are really concerned for either their children, uh, mandates, and you know the, the other people, uh, the other working man. Uh, yet not one single mainstream media outlet would cover it and talk about it, uh, which is, well, it's disgraceful. Uh, I don't really understand um, why they wouldn't. And it, most of the time when they do, it's just smear tactics. And we know why they do it. You know, it lines the pockets um, and it mm -hmm. makes them look great. You know, because if you've got someone that just relies on the BBC every single day and God help that person, um, <laughs> then, you know, that's going to be that's going to be more control for them, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just still wrapping my head around this other thing. <laughs> like, it's a useful, it's a useful thing, insulation. But to be like, this is a na we want free insulation, national <laughs> protest. That I just, uh, we want paved driveways. This will stop <laughs> us from like, like, oh my god. Yeah, uh, yeah. We can go well, to a lighter. Yeah, go ahead. I was just going to say, with with that movement, it's quite insane. I, I do recommend you you check it out because they'll sit <laughs> in the middle of the motorways and the police won't do anything. There's a clip of police officers saying, "If there's anything I can get you guys, just uh, just give me a heads up." And you're like, "Can you imagine if that was like a, a an anti COVID nine COVID nineteen um, vaccine uh, guy? Like they just wouldn't be treated yeah. the same respect." Um, I love that uh, dainty insane. British idea. Excuse me, love. We'll get you some tea biscuits. Oh, that's the classic line, isn't it? You went straight to the tea and biscuits. Could have said, could have said scones. Could have said scones, but you didn't. Could have said so, scones. What is this word you were teaching me the other day? Pucka or something? Pucka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, pucka. I, I had to tell my girlfriend about it because I was so outraged. Um, <laughs> the spelling, just the idea that you can come up with these things. Uh, yeah. It disturbs me. I'm going to have to ask you, when you come on my show, I'm going to have to ask you to prepare... In American accent, 